Hello and welcome back to another video. This equation we're going to be in this problem we're going to be solving this equation for x. We're going to be looking at the negative solution. We're not going to worry yet how to find the negative solution versus the positive solution. We're just going to find both, and then one of them is going to be negative, one of them is going to be positive. So what we have here, if we write this down, we have seven times the absolute value of a plus x minus four times the absolute value of a plus x. And that's all going to be equal to 36. And what we can do here first is we can say if we have seven of something minus four of something, that's gonna be three of that something. So we can actually sort of treat this little absolute value as a variable in itself and say that seven of it minus four of it are equal to three of it. So we have three times a plus x. Just remember if you're doing this, the thing inside the absolute value has to be the same, right? So you can do seven x minus four x is equal to three x. You cannot do 7y minus 4x because they're not the same. Same sort of thing here. These have to be the same, and then you can subtract them. This is still equal to 36. And we're solving for x, so we want to get x on its own. The first thing to do is divide both sides by 3 because that'll get the absolute value on its own. Because these 3s will cancel, and we're left with 8 plus x inside the absolute value. It's going to be equal to 36 divided by 3 is equal to 12. So. This is where we get into what the negative solution be and the positive solution would be. If this value, a plus x, is greater than zero, then we don't really have to do anything with the absolute value. You get eight plus x is equal to 12. Um, if it's equal to zero, same sort of thing. But if a plus x is less than zero, then the absolute value of a plus x is gonna be it's negative. So the absolute value of negative four is not um, negative four itself, it's negative negative four, because the absolute value of negative four is equal to this, which is positive four. Same sort of thing here, we'd get eight plus x is equal to its negative, so negative 12. Um, technically, you'd put the negative on this side um, because you're taking the negative of what's inside the absolute value, but you could just divide both sides by negative one anyways. So it's easier to just think of this as the absolute value is equal to the positive thing on the other side, and the absolute, what's inside the absolute value is equal to the negative thing on the other side. So now we have two possible solutions. One of them is going to be negative, hopefully, and we can just solve for x in both situations. So getting x on its own here, right now we subtract 8 from both sides. We're left with just x on this side is equal to 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. Same thing over here. We can subtract 8 from both sides left with just x on this side is equal to negative 12 minus 8 is equal to negative 20. So the two solutions to this equation are x is equal to 4, x is equal to negative 20. Again, we're looking for the negative solution, which is going to be negative 20. So this is going to be our answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.